In this video, I want to demonstrate how easy it is to graph custom data in the new version of Windows Performance Analyzer. In order to replicate this demo, you have to be using a recent version of UI for ETW, and you have to copy the latest WPA startup profiles by going to the Settings dialog and clicking Copy Startup Profiles. I recorded this trace a few weeks ago for a blog post. You can see the date, the label, and the description. I had Intel PowerGadget installed so the trace contains some extra data which we'll be graphing. I'll just right click on the trace now and open it in WPA10. It takes a few seconds to load the trace and then symbols automatically start loading. That's a great new feature in WPA10. We don't need symbols in this case, but we can keep using WPA while the symbols load. If we drill down into UI for ETW multi-main, we can see a bunch of different types of data organized by task name. If we drill down into, for instance, temp status, we can see the temperature of the package numerically, and we can see that after a while it starts going up. And that's great, but a graph would be much more helpful. Now, because we only want to graph the temperature data, we start by right-clicking on that row and selecting Filter to Selection. That hides all the other data. We now observe that the temperature is in field 2. So we go up to the presets and select Random ASCII Graph Field 2. Boom! That's it. It reorders the columns as needed and changes the graph type. We can then hover over various parts of the graph and see the values, with the temperature starting around 90 degrees and peaking at over 120 degrees, which I think is pretty crazy. We can then clear the filter and change the data that we're graphing. So let's look, for instance, at the frequency status. So we filter to that selection. And because we're still on the same preset, and because the data is still in field 2, it's just graphed instantly. We can also have multiple graphs. Let's change this one to be graph only to save some space, and then open up a new generic events graph. Let's take this one, drag it up there, and once again we're going to drill down, this time into power status. Now this is slightly different because the data is further categorized. There's three different MSR names, and this comes from Intel Power Gadget. We need to drag that over here so that we can group them appropriately, all the processor power information together. If we drill down, we can see the power starting at 18 watts, again, in field 2, dropping down, and then increasing. So the same drill, now that we've rearranged the columns properly, we filter to that selection, change the preset, and again, it's still field 2, and that seems to be a very popular field. And now we can see, at the same time, the uh, frequency changing from 800 megahertz all the way up to above or around 3 gigahertz, and at the same time the power changes from around 5 watts up to a peak of over 50 watts. Let's change that to be graph only as well, and it can also then be interesting to take a look at Microsoft's version of the CPU frequency. So this is a built-in graph, and uh, it starts at 800 megahertz, but it only shows the CPU going up to 2.2 gigahertz, and it completely misses all the activity after the frequency goes up. So this graph is apparently not very reliable and therefore not very useful. Now remember, the data being graphed requires having Intel Power Gadget installed and using UI for ETW to record the trace. And the presets require using the WPA startup profiles as set up by UI for ETW. For more information, see all those URLs on the screen.